This is the first video in our series, and we're going to be going through Luke's hot end fix. You can find this in section 2.1.5 of Luke's Health Guide. My name is Jim, and this is the Edge of Tech. The hot end fix helps solve the issue found in section 3.1 titled Nozzle Clogs or Filament Drag Issues. It's where the PTFE tube pulls back away from the inside of the nozzle, shown here. It causes a space or void between the nozzle and the PTFE tube. When this happens, it allows the filament to melt during heat creep and when the machine is running at operating temperatures. And when it melts, the filament starts to fill into that void. The melted filament that fills the void can harden and that restricts the path to the nozzle causing drag. Some of the symptoms of this are stepper skipping, variation in flow, and retraction issues. This video will go through the hot end fix and show you how to make your machine run so much smoother. Now that we know what causes the issue and some of the side effects, let's answer the big question. Why this fix? Number one, because it takes the Bowden fittings duties for holding the back of the PTFE tube tight against the nozzle away from the Bowden fittings grabber teeth, shown here. It does this by taking the Bowden fittings body and securing it against a spacer and a cut piece of PTFE tubing tight against that nozzle. This takes away from the void that often happens with a factory arrangement. At this point, you'll want to go to Luke's Thingiverse page. It's linked below. Print a few of those washers and the cut gauge for your printer. If you can't print due to one of the issues above, go to section 3.1 and follow those instructions first. Then come back to this video. Now that you have the washers and the cut gauge for your printer, let's go through the instructions. Step 1. Take one of the washers that you just printed and make sure you're able to pass a piece of the filament loosely through the center hole, like this. Step 3. Make sure that the PTFE tube fits through the cutting guide or gauge. So at this point you want to remove the fan shroud. In my case I have a bullseye blower so I'm going to remove this whole housing to get to our hot end and uh, cooling block. I'm going to start with the BL touch mount. I'm going to take the screw out of that first. Oops. And as I do that I'm just going to drape the fans over the top of the machine here. I'm going to take the sides out. And after this last screw it will allow me to drop the bullseye down and also move this out of the way. that. Next I'm going to take the cooler fan out this fan helps cool that cooling block down and prevents heat creep. Take those screws so I don't lose them. And then this all should just step aside here. You'll want to make sure that this fan here is out of the way. When we turn the machine on, it is going to start spinning, and we don't want it to hit anything and ruin that fan. So then I'm going to go ahead and remove the mount by taking out the top left screw and my mount should come right off. I'll set that over here. 
At this time, we're going to go through steps four, five, six, and seven at one time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go into the menu of your, your printer here. Go to control. Go to temperature. Click on nozzle. And click on nozzle and bring the nozzle up to temperature. So that's going to be 4, 5, and 6, which would be clear the hot end and reset the nozzle so there's nothing here. Prepare the hot end and heat up the hot end. In this case, I'm going to take it to about 240. And we're going to let it heat up. At this point, the uh, hot end is at full temperature. It's heated up. And we're going to proceed to step number seven, which is remove the filament. So I like to push mine in just a little bit and then just pull straight out. Make sure you squeeze the uh, extruder arm there, and that's it. So now we move on to step eight. Remove the Bowden tube and its fitting. So we can push down and pull up and remove your Bowden tube. We'll put that back here. Then we're going to grab the wrench that came with the kit, and we are just going to remove the PTFE fitting here. So I get mine loose and I just Crank it out like this. Now we go to step nine, which is to remove the nozzle. In my case, I need to remove this, the black silicone sock first. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pull that off. Be careful, this can be very hot because your machine is still heated up right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and take a uh, pliers and hold the block tight while I use a six millimeter wrench uh, socket to take the nozzle off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it tight. And once you're holding that tight so you don't hurt anything, you should be able to break the nozzle loose pretty easy. And then go ahead and remove it. Don't forget it is very hot at this point, so please be careful. So now we move on to step 10 which is to use the PTFE tube to clear any plastic out of the throat by passing it from the top down through the heat block several times. That's like this. So you just want to push and just pull it through. I just happen to have some extra so if you have your stock one you can use that as well. And we're just going to do that a couple three times here just to make sure nothing's coming out and there's nothing clogged. So if we go on, we want to go to 11, which we want to make sure there's no plastic matting or surface on the back of the nozzle before we install. So we look at our nozzle here, and we look at the back. And if there's no plastic or filament melted on that, you're good to go. Step number 12. What we need to do is start screwing in the nozzle to get it tight. Now be careful because this is going to be very hot. So get it started and uh, set your temperature to about 20 degrees over the operating temp that you usually run at. Right now mine is set at uh, 240 degrees at the nozzle. So then what I'm going to do is make sure it's uh, just hand tight. We're going to take our pliers here. We're going to hold the block and we're just going to make sure that the nozzle's tight. So hold your block like this. Just give the nozzle a quick tighten so the block doesn't turn. And everything should be great. That completes step number 12. Now we're on to step 13. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut just a little bit off the end here of the PTFE tube just to make sure it's straight. So with Luke's guide, you want to use your uh, X-Acto knife. Then we're going to go ahead and push the tube in. Make sure it's all the way to the end. Hold it in place. And cut 
right down in there. This should give you the exact cut that you need for your printer. In my case, we're using an Ender 3. Now that your PTFE tube is cut, you should have the PTFE tube and a washer that you printed that you checked earlier to make sure the filament would go through. We're going to continue step 13 and install all the parts. So we're going to go ahead and take and push our PTFE tube down into the bottom there and you should see it way down in there. You'll see the blue. Then you're going to go ahead and take your washer and place it right in there as well. Then we're going to take some filament and just make sure everything passes through and it looks good. So now that we got the PTFE tubing down in there and the washer down in there and our piece of filament cut to 100 millimeters for testing, that takes care of steps 16, 17, and 18. Keep in mind in step 15 it does say you can use the stock tube by cutting just a little bit off that you need for this. In step 19 we're going to go ahead and hand screw the Bowden fitting into the top until it just touches the washer. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that now so you guys can see. Just so it touches that washer, just like that. 20, we want to take the piece of filament that we talked about earlier and push it through the top, moving it up and down slowly just to make sure that path is clear first. So make sure you get it in there. You can go up and down through the tube and, and that washer. Then what you want to do is take your wrench again and just, while you're moving it, tighten it just enough so that it won't back, back off easily when it's being used, okay? And you want to keep moving your filament up and down. This is very important to keep the alignment of everything tight. Now the first time that I did this fix, I got it too tight and I actually squashed that washer and it didn't allow the filament to go back in in the end. So please make sure you're moving your filament down, keeping that path nice and clear and then do not over tighten fitting here because you don't want that to happen. Step 21 talks about the small space between the shoulder of the fitting and the cooler block. You can see that at the end of my pen here. So this is okay. That's going to be there because the washer is in there and it ensures that the spacer is being compressed and compressing the PTFE lightly into the nozzle and inside of the hot end down here. So this is okay as long as your fitting is tight and it's not going to reverse itself back off. In step number 22 we are almost done. So we're going to take our, our PTFE tube current that we have and we're going to go ahead and feed it into the top until it bottoms out and it's nice and tight in there. Make sure that you lift that collar when, once you get it in there and it isn't going anywhere. I prefer to put a small zip tie on there so I know that that collar won't come down. Especially with the stock fittings, these collars are, seem to be weak and they seem to pop off. So I like to throw a zip tie on mine. That ensures it's not coming down. Make sure it's on there good. And we will cut that like that. So after step number 22, this is where I would like to put everything back together. So we're going to go ahead and put the mount for the bullseye back together along with uh, the fans and the bullseye duct itself. So go ahead and get everything screwed in tight. So whether you have the stock fan uh, housing or an aftermarket one, just remember that when you're going to put this back together, the sticker of the fan, I think you can see there, goes face in towards the block there. So we're going to go ahead and get this screwed back together. So now all I would do is uh, take a zip tie and hold that back down like I had it before. And then we move on to the last step. For the last step, number 23, we're just going to go ahead and load the filament through. You'll get it through the PTFE tubing and you'll feel it go down through there. Once you get it far enough, you can start feeding it down through your nozzle and making sure it flows freely. Just like that. 
So there's one more step I need to address. I forgot to put my silicone sock back on. So we're gonna go ahead and be careful because it's still hot. And we're gonna find the right direction and go ahead and get that up in there and secured. Just like that. And you should be good to go now. Congratulations, the fix is now done. You can enjoy better back pressure because you've eliminated that small void that was left there by the design of the original flow path. Don't forget to check out the maintenance and frequently asked questions on page 30 of Luke's guide. Also, if you like the video, please subscribe and click the little bell if you want to notified below when the next video comes out. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day.